Hey guys, I just finished a mini um, that I actually started this morning. So I went from nothing to a finished, completed mini in, you know, 12 hours or whatever, and two kids and a dog, a cat, and a husband. So I, this has never happened to me before, um, and I'm super excited, so I wanted to share it with you. It's, it's kind of late, but um, I'm going to, I want to load it tonight. So this is a... Um, a baby girl mini, and I'm sorry, um, I can't find my my little tripod, so um, I'm just going to hand do this. Um, my, a friend of ours is due with a baby girl in October, and so I made this from this kit by stamping up called Simply Scrapping Moments and Milestones, and it came with... Um, basically so saffron I think that that's uh, certainly celery um, basic gray and tur tempting turquoise and it came with the, uh, let me get break out the let me just show you what I have left I have um, these scraps sorry I have these scraps left of the solid um, so I have basically a couple of half sheets, um, or not so half sheets, um, one 12 by 12 in the turquoise, um, like a 6 by 12 in the double sided designer paper, and then these stickers. Okay, now forgive me, I love stamping up, but I don't understand why they give you two of the stickers because I used almost all of them in one set, almost every single one, and then I didn't touch the other set. So now I have no papers and all these stickers and I'm sure you know I'll find something to do with them but um, that just kind of blew my mind so I thought that was pretty funny. So that's all I've got left um, and this is all I used in this mini album. Um, everything is stamping up but my charms and these letters right here. Everything else is from that kit. Um, except this is stamping up, but it's not, you know, it, their kits don't come with ribbon. So I put um, a little bit of old olive ribbon and I made a charm right here. Beaded charm. Um, I don't know her name yet, so here's where her initials will go. And then I put a um, fragment. So, Baby Valiant. Um, I put a, uh, sorry guys, I put um, an acetate pocket here using one of the border strips to show where it is um, from packaging. And then these are some of the stickers that I just backed on cardstock. So where, uh, when I was born and who came to see me um, with my first photo. And then this is a pocket album that um, I forgot her name. I will definitely put it up on the screen. I found her last night and I watched her video and I thought that looks super easy and I can do that and so I did it. Um, so each, uh, this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and it creates two pockets. One, two, and then one on the top, three. And it's just, um, so all the pockets on the top are just photo mats. So I'm not going to pull all those out. And then all the pockets have, you know, month one. And then all of them say tricks. So she can write down what the baby's doing. And then um, a picture on the back. So I'm not going to, I won't pull all those out either. And then, um, so there's the first page. And month two, sorry. Month two, um, I put a little coin envelope here, and I used one of the stickers, but I backed the other side with paper so that it wouldn't be sticky, and then I put some um, little tags, I mean, that they're just plain white tags in here. Um, you know, sometimes you don't want to spill everything. Not every day is a great day, and so, you know... If you have a not so great day, but you want to share it with your child, you know, when they're a bit, when they're understanding of it, so be it. She can just hide those away. Um, watch me sleep with the little sheep, month three. 
And she's not a scrapbooker, but she's a card maker, so I did leave some of these blanks so she can, you know, do some stuff with it. There's some of the stickers I backed on. Um, the basic brown, no, that's basic gray um, cardstock, and then put them up on pop dots. And then month five, this is, um, you know, can hold a, I'm sorry, my dog wants, wants in. She's, and then it's Baba -ba Black Sheep. So I thought that was super cute. This is, um, this paper did not come in this collection. Um, it, but it came, it's stamping up. It just came from a different collection that I cannot remember for the life of me right now off the top of my head. But that's, uh, I used two sheets of this paper. Month six, watch me smile. And then I used a border strip up here. I put another coin envelope, and this one I only put one in it, you know, in case she wanted to put a lock of hair or something, she can, you know, so that only has one, um, seven, this says love you, and it's got a little journaling spot down here, eight, Sounds like somebody's trying to break into my house. <laughs> um, month nine. Month ten, peekaboo. This is another. She can pull that out. Here's another um, coin envelope. It does the same as the others. That's three little. Oh, or two. Well, three, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And then month 11, this says babies are wonderful. And then this has a little tag that comes out that says sweet pea for journaling. And then the last one, month 12. And again, you know, this comes out for the tricks. Ah, sorry guys. Where this right here is basically for the birthday, and I'm gonna put all over this. I actually, this is the first one I did, and I folded it wrong. So um, the paper that I wanted on the outside right here ended up being on the inside. Um, and I had already set glue down when I realized, hello, it's not where you want it to be. So it, I put it at the back. Anyway, so I'm gonna put happy birthday and kind of disguise it with you know, balloons and stuff. And then I made this teeny tiny, um, I don't even know what these are called, but, um, the ones that open up so that you can, she can put little bitty pictures in there. And then another acetate pocket out of packaging with baby milestones and watch me grow in the back with room for a picture. So, and then I plan to put um, either back here in this pocket or on the back itself, which doesn't have anything right now, I plan to put a scalloped envelope punch with um, kind of a little family letter. Anyway, we're so happy for them, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good night.